All right, we are now going to hide our old transactions. Open up Instanet. Once it is open, go to your transactions. You can either click go to transactions here from the widget, or you can click on the little house up here. Click on the house, you're going to get a list of all of your transactions. If you've never hidden any, then they are all going to be here going back many years. Let's just pick one to demonstrate. You'll be choosing all those that you want to hide. We are not allowed to delete any transactions. If you notice, the basket up above, when you check your transaction, a number will be shown up in the basket. Once you've checked all those that you wish to hide, click on the basket. This window will pop up. This does nothing for you. What we want to be concerned with is the flag. This is going to change the status of your transaction. Click on the flag. This window will open. Drop this menu down. You can always see your active transactions and we will choose to make sure we can see our open transactions. We are going to restatus this one as a closed file transaction. Click on closed file complete and hit save. That's the end of step one. <clears throat> step two, go to the filter. It looks like the little funnel up on your toolbar. Click on the funnel and this window appears. Again, active even though it's not checked, all actives are always visible. Down here I want you to click open. This means that the only transactions you wish to see are the active and the open transactions. We chose closed file complete for the other transaction and we're not checking that, which means we will only see the active and the open. Click on apply. And if you'll notice from our drop-down list, the needed test is gone. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. This is Ben Fuller from the Great Neck Office, 675-9383. Thanks.